ants, creepy little soil dwellers that will march into your home if you aren't careful. There are, wait for it, 10 trillion ants on Earth. So, what if they were bigger than humans? Hello, and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that loves a good old fashioned piece of fanciful pondering. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking what if ants were 10 feet tall? Crikey. Before we get into this video, why don't you guys let me know your feelings on ants? Spill the tea. Although, don't drop the sugar cube as those ants will be marching away with it. Also, while you're down there letting me know if you're an ant murderer or not, why don't you also leave a big, beautiful thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend. Also, do check out the links in the description box to all of the people that went into making this video. And of course, do stick around to the end where I'll be reading comments from a previous one. Ants. Okay, now is your last chance to start playing the game where you count how many times I say ants in this video. Are you ready? Ants. Ants are roughly one to three millimeters in length, wee little buddies. Your average black garden ant, the common ant, is around three millimeters in length, with bigger workers reaching five millimeters and queen ants reaching six to nine millimeters. Now, the biggest ants in the world are currently bullet ants, which are as fun as they sound. These absolute menaces are three to four centimeters in length, so ten times the size of your average garden ant, and they sting. A sting from a regular a sized bullet ant can last for 48 hours and make you super, super red. Right, not feeling great about the ants in their current size. Also, in general, ants are hella strong. A common ant can lift 1,000 times its weight. This is the equivalent of a human being able to lift around 75 US tons, which is the weight of about 12 elephants, or roughly the weight of a space shuttle. Can you imagine? So, circling back to the whole 10 foot thing, 10 foot is roughly 3 meters. Now, 3 meters is 1,000 times the size of a regular ant, which makes me very, very, very nervous. Are we gonna go to scale here too? If regular Regular ants are 10 feet tall, regular queens would be between 20 to 29 feet tall, and bullet ants would be around 98 feet tall, and I just want to cry. Like, many things to say here, but first and foremost, your garden is about to get way more crowded. Regular garden ant colonies are around 7,000 ants strong, but they can reach as big as 40,000 ants, which, ah, stress, get out my garden. The whole blooming world is going to get way more crowded. We will be outnumbered by giant ants twice our size. There are just 7.5 billion of us to 10 trillion ants. That means, if my at times dubious mathematics serves me correctly, there'll be 1,333 ants to every human. They'll be bigger than us, they'll be stronger than us, and well, they'll probably eat us. Ants are omnivores. They will eat plants, and they will eat bugs. Right now, they're happy to fight little spiders and eat bugs their size, so they won't worry about taking a chunk out of us, especially if we anger them. The average garden ants really aren't even the issue. There are 12,000 varieties of ants, and you don't want to meet some of them. Yo, listen, some of the ants can actually fly, and many of the ants can sting. Let me tell you about a couple already horrifying ants before you factor in the whole being 1,000 times bigger than they already are thing. Okay. Fire ants. Winner, winner, honey is a stinger. We already talked about the dastardly bullet ants, but the real concern here is the bulldog ant. Bum, bum, bum. These are the most dangerous ants in the world. Officially, like actually officially, they'll kill you. These can already kill adults with their venomous bites, so you have absolutely no chance against one a thousand times bigger than regular. These live on the coast of Australia, so Aussie bays watching, you better start your ant apocalypse plans now. Should these red devils ever mutate, you're gonna be in trouble. Basically, what we're looking at with 10 feet and taller ants is a new apex predator. Maybe they'll be the ones pouring hot water on our homes to get rid of us when we become pests. Although, the lack of opposable thumbs and prior knowledge of electrical appliances may make that difficult. Nonetheless, ants have existed for around 120 million years. Ants are no fools. They are much older in species than us humans. 10 feet tall ants would take over the world with their colonies. Imagine the state of the earth with giant ants digging it up. They'd have no problem flipping a building. Chaos. Destruction. The only defense we can hope for is seeking out each colony's queen and killing her, for we know that a colony will fall if the queen dies. Eventually anyway, they would put up a good fight. But getting to her, honestly, again, we're outnumbered and it would be really hard because these 10 foot tall ants are super strong and super angry. It isn't just humans who are totally screwed by the existence of giant ants either. Their food chain would be 
all off. Ants provided the food source for a lot of other animal species in the food chains. Birds would go hungry. Maybe actually they would be ant food because once again I hate to break it to you some ants really can fly. Ugh. Listen, I'm just about done with this absolute horror express of a video because I am starting to have like actual wakeful nightmares. 10 foot tall ants would be a true nightmare land. I would love to watch a movie about it, I'd absolutely hate to live it. Thanks. Do leave a thumbs up on this video though because I know that Steven Spielberg is a big fan of life's biggest questions so maybe the like ratio will encourage him to create Revenge of the Fire Ants. He can have that one for free Steve, only if I can have a starring role though, that is. Thank you. Before I get out of here, I'm just gonna read some comments from What If We Stopped Blinking. You had some things to say. Michael Diaz said, I couldn't stop blinking or stop thinking about blinking while watching this video. I don't know why. Probably because when someone talks about breathing, you kind of feel like you're breathing weird. I don't know. I don't know if you get that, but yeah, I'm definitely with you on the blinking. I feel like I'm blinking a lot talking about blinking. But I always blink a lot anyway. Quizar said, What if people stopped stealing art? Well, then, there would be no art because art is inspired by something that already exists in form or concept and a lot of art, some of the best art, is created in response to other art. That's like asking what if we stopped using the same words as one another. Macy May said, my eyes look like honey in the sunlight and dark brown in the dark. Ooh, honey eyes, that's nice. Ants like honey, ants, back to the horror of ants, no. No. Once again, do leave me your comments and thoughts on ants in the comments section down below. For now though, I really, really am getting out of here because I'm pretty afraid. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.